Hi, Shauna Jensen here, the artist behind Pop Studio 12 with another digital painting for you, this time of a little pug. He's so cute. I really enjoyed doing this one. I am working on my iPad Pro and the Art Studio Pro app, and I am just getting my basic colors down, just blocking in all those different values there so I have a map of, um, I know where my lights and my darks are going to be. I always do the eyes first. This is the only thing that I really complete on my painting like at once is the eyes. I do that, get those over with, and then from there I kind of work around and do the whole thing. I might do the nose too, like all at once, um, but otherwise I work all around my painting with whatever color that I am picking. Um, and I also wanted to talk about if you're just starting in art and you're not sure, I know a lot of beginners always ask like what colors you're using and it doesn't matter if it's digital or if you're using oils, acrylics, pastels, whatever you're doing. Um, I always get questions on like what colors um, are you using and, or how do you know what colors to pick in your painting. Um, obviously with digital art it's really easy because you have the color picker tool so you can kind of just look at your reference photo if you have it on your computer or your tablet and you can just use that color picker pick the color that's around there and then go from there but you can also do that with your regular paintings if you have your reference photo on the computer or upload it to the computer whatever you could put it on there put it in Photoshop do the same thing kind of pick around your picture with your color picker tool get a couple different colors in there because sometimes your eye doesn't see what's really there like you're looking at it and it might look like a bright area of say tan like on this little guy here some of the lighter areas it might look just really tan there might not look like there's a whole lot of color or detail there but there really is you just need to train your eye so it's a good idea to do that and use the color picker tool have that reference of the colors and you can um, do that, match that to your pencils or your paints or whatever. So I kind of do the same thing here with um, my digital drawing is I use the color picker tool and I, what I do is I start with a base, um, kind of like a mid-tone, I'll, I'll choose a mid-tone in a certain area, whatever area I'm working on, I will choose the mid-tone, I'll lay that down first, then I'll build on top with lights and darks and kind of just go back and forth and that seems to work out pretty well. Um, in my last video I talked a little bit about on the light areas, especially with this, if you if you have lighter hairs that you really want to show up, and this is, goes the same for pastels, is you want to put a darker color down first so kind of goes the same with um, the mid-tones you want to try to pick out in that light area the mid-tone of that and lay that down first because then when you put your lighter hairs or furs whatever on top it will show up a lot more and it'll give it that dimension and that depth that you want in your realistic drawings don't forget to check out my Zazzle shop. It is called Pop Studio 12 and it has all kinds of products you can find on there. Purses, bags, pencils, notebooks, t-shirts, uh, pillows, all kinds of things with all these cute little animals, these digital drawings that I'm doing. Um, so go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link down below so you guys know where to go. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the support and um, yeah, hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye.